I am going to actually take you through some very basic principles in microbiology that the intensive care consultant should needs to know. It is not possible in 40, 45 minutes to cover what we have spent three years learning, but I am just going to try and sum it up quickly to tell you why perform microbiology? Why should, we, why should we bother to do this at all? It is possible with empiric treatment to just know it all, but today it is becoming more and more important to know is there an infection, what should be the diagnostic tests, what are the likely pathogens with their susceptibility tests and how do we interpret these tests and this is what I am actually going to do in a, in a little detail over the next hour. So microbiology can be actually direct demonstration with microscopy, successful isolation of what you see in culture. If you do not get any of those any joy from that you can actually look at supportive evidence in, the, in terms of antigen or antibody and lastly molecular tests. The most important is actually sample collection and that is the weakest link in this entire saga. Often the microbiologist is sought when you run into a problem and you say now grow something when you sort of put I mean put your patient on so many antibiotics and we are not ready to give you answers. So culture should ideally be obtained before antibiotics, we need to avoid contaminating flora. Remember the tissue is best, is the best sample we would want followed by pus, swabs somehow are the worst. They should be transported to the lab at reasonable temperatures of 2 to 8 degrees. The time collected and the time that we process them needs to be documented and they should be in adequate quantity. And just to put into perspective, the other day we spoke to a, a, a consultant surgeon who said you know we had a lot of pus, this found its way to histopathology and what we got was just a teeny weeny swab with one drop on it. And this is unfortunately what happens to microbiology, give us, avoid giving us swabs, give us the actual specimen and there is another specimen that you can see there with just a drop of, of some kind of fluid from which we are supposed to do so many cultures, it is not possible. Remember pre-analytical issues are you refrigerate contaminated samples such as urine, sputum and stool. You do not refri refrigerate sterile site collections such as CSF and often we find blood culture vials are inoculated and they have been put into the fridge for some reason. Once they are inoculated into the blood culture vial, please keep them at room temperature till they get to us. We do not accept samples in formalin because formalin kills all bugs. We do not accept samples that have leaked. <laughs> For intensive care specialists, we really do not accept polycatheter tips.